engines on the island of Sodor like feeling responsible, reliable, and really useful. They work hard to complete their jobs on time. They don't like confusion and delay. But the troublesome trucks delight in mischief, and their mischief causes trouble, as poor Henry found out. Henry has had an accident and been sent for repairs, said the fat controller. There are no other engines available, so diesel will help until Henry returns. Yes, sir, puffed the engines, but they weren't happy. The engines didn't like diesel. He was always being rude and always showing off. I hope Henry's mended soon, said Percy. He moves more trucks than three diesels put together, agreed Thomas. Trucks are no one's friend, huffed Gordon. The next day, Diesel was working at the docks. When the fat controller sees how good I am, he bragged to the trucks, he'll get rid of steam engines once and for all. This gave the troublesome trucks an idea. As Diesel shunted them together, they started to sing. Is that all you can haul? Henry's loads are longer. Is that all you can haul? Henry must be stronger. Diesel was cross. He was sure that he was stronger than Henry. I'll push you all at the same time, he said. The trucks giggled. Push us all, that's the longest. Push us all, you'll be the strongest. That's me, said Diesel, the world's strongest engine. And Diesel shunted five trucks together. Then ten. Then fifteen. Soon he had an enormous line of 20 trucks. What's Diesel doing? cried Percy. He thinks he's the world's strongest engine, replied Thomas. Diesel didn't know the shunters had set the brakes on the trucks. The troublesome trucks knew, but encouraged Diesel to push anyway. Push, push, push. Diesel pushed, and he pushed, and he pushed. But the trucks didn't move, so Diesel decided to pull the trucks instead. Heave ho, heave ho, you can pull, but we won't go, sang the trucks. This made Diesel very cross. He pulled. and oil. Diesel sulked as the trucks laughed and laughed. <laughs> the fat controller looked down crossly at Diesel. I thought you would be a proper dockyard diesel, but I was wrong, he said. Can you make up for lost time, Henry? Oh, yes, sir, Henry replied happily. He backed up to the trucks, and the shunters released the brakes. <coughs> then Henry pulled away as easy as pie. And the engines cheered. Diesel was sent home in disgrace. But the engines had learned a lesson. Even troublesome trucks can do you a favor sometimes, chuffed Thomas. Like getting rid of smelly old diesel, puffed Percy.